Welcome to another video, Bowen here as always. Today I'm starting a mini series where I take a look at why the Warriors of Hope turn out the way they are. I will be reading some small information from the Ultra Dispel Girls game. We get a look into how their parents acted towards them and how the kids feel about them. So why don't we get into the first one for today, Nagisa Shingetsu. Let's begin. This here is his father talking. I cannot obtain the result I was expecting with my experiment. I cannot discern whether the environment or the subject himself is the problem. I shall look into the experiment condition in more detail. Until now, I had used solely visual observation, but I should erect cameras to watch the subject at all times and disciple the subject when resting longer than allowed. If I do not obtain any desirable results with the experiment, I will conclude that the problem lies with the subject and change my experimental target. As you can see here, his father treat him like some kind of lab experiment, to the point where he was even thinking about changing subject, which I find interesting because for what we know, Nagisa did not have any siblings. Now we get a look on how Nagisa felt about him. There's no way I can let him be disappointed. I am the worst. It was a horrible result. I feel so worthless. I want to die. Why am I like this? Why can't I just be better? Father has such high hope for me, but I couldn't meet his expectations. Not even once. It was all meaningless. Just because I wasn't good enough. It was stupid of Father to expect so much from a worthless fool like me. Why am I me? Why wasn't I just born better? Why am I not the child father wanted? But excuses aren't going to help me now. Only hopeless idiots fritter away their lives with self-hatred. I don't have time. I need to work even harder. I need to live up to father's expectations. It doesn't matter how high they are. I don't want to disappoint him never again. Okay now, as you can see, he loved his father. He wanted to be the perfect son to make him proud. At this point, it feels like he's talking in a way that implies his father already switched to somebody else. But he still wants to live to his expectations because he did love his father. I wonder where his mother was in all of this. Was she part of the whole experiment thing? This whole experience really made him felt around for Junko and Monaka to break Nagisa. He wanted to please Monaka and she used that against him. This of course does not excuse him for his crimes, but it should give you a better understanding. If you really think about it, the warriors hope are very similar to the remnants of despair. Anyway, that's the video. Nothing too deep, I just wanted to show you guys the source of the trauma. In chapter 4, Nagisa himself goes a little more into detail. But what do you guys think about Nagisa? Tell me in the comments below. This is Baldwin, see you guys next time. Bye.